today today's unboxing video is going to be a little different um we actually have four we <laughs> we have two db launchers because my last year launcher broke we have a go shoot grip and we're also going to be unboxing guilty longness let's do this sorry if you guys hear in the background it's actually raining outside but first off we're going to do this build up now first we'll start with the db launchers let's unbox these you just rip this piece off pull this up you can remove this also all of this stuff is from bays and bricks big thanks to them because this got here extremely fast here's the first db launcher just look at it it's just the string is so smooth it's just it's beautiful all right now let's go to the next one okay we got both of our db launchers here those are unboxed and that was probably the fastest unboxing I've done. And if you look, it also comes with like a little dust cover. So that's honestly a really nice thing to have. But now let's move on to the next part of this unboxing video. As you guys may be able to hear from my tone, I'm actually really excited. Now let's open up this Go Shoot grip. So as you guys can see on the side, it says Go Shoot. Then it shows the Japanese. If you look over here, it shows you how to put them on. So now let's open this up. This is also my first grip ever, this Go Shoot grip. All right. This is what you get when, um, you know, you're at your pinnacle of not having anyone to bay with. It also comes with these, so you can have different color bands to um, put your strings through. Alright, it has these little, like, bread ties, so I'll be right back after I get these off. Alright guys, now that I think I figured it out, let's put these launches on. You have this opening at the bottom, you just line this gap up, pull that through. And I think it should be okay. Let me shake it around a little. Okay, that seems stable. Now let's do the left one. Stick it on. Okay, now you got your dual grip. Now what we have to do is get this band around the strings. You know, we, we have the whole black and red thing going on. We'll use the red. Now let's just admire how beautiful this thing is. It's just the quality of this is actually really nice. Especially for like not being a um, official Beyblade Burst product. It's just, it just feels so nice. But now let's move on. To guilty longness. Now let's open this up. Let's start from this side. There is some tape, so I'm going to grab something to cut that. Like my last video, I'm going to be using a nail again. But like I said in the last time, um, don't do this. You could get seriously hurt. Do not use a nail to unbox things. I'm just stupid. So now let's open this up. Also, guys, um, I am going to be battling this because I have a, I have a bay coming in about two days from now. And actually, I'm not sure when this video will be up, but it's going to be here pretty soon. And it's Guilty Loon, or the one that Hasbro just dropped. So I'm going to be using that up against this bay and some other bays. So stay tuned for that. All right, we got the box out. All we have left is this uh, this instruction pamphlet with the stickers. We'll put that to the side. All right, when you open this up, ah, got to take this tape off. Oh my gosh, I'm just, <laughs> just ruined packaging. I am... As you can see, um, I'm I'm very very little muscled. It's okay that I'm little muscled though, because we always have our good friend the nail. All right, now we're just gonna poke a hole through the tape right here, pull it apart, and then I'm just gonna keep doing that for each spot. Gotta make sure I have to stab myself, especially if you guys are doing this at home, which I really don't think you should be. But be very careful if you do decide to use this. All right, guys. And now right here, here are all of our parts. Let's get this open. Um, I'm not completely sure what this driver is, but I'm pretty sure it is called the Metal Destroy Driver. We also have the Karma Disc. And accompanying the Metal Destroy Driver and the Karma Disc, we have this L gear. I know it's crazy. This is for our dynamite bellio or your divine bellio, whatever you want to stick it on. And we also have guilty as the ring and longness. I'm not sure what armor this is. So guilty longness is a left spin attack type. And now let's put this bay together. All right, we have guilty put together and this is actually really tight. So now let's do some test battles. All right, guys, um, before we start this battle, I just want to say I'm sorry if anything feels different, like if my camera view um, 
if my camera view looks different or the mic sounds different, I just had to clear up space on my um, camera, so I did have to move it around a little. But now that we got that out of the way, let's move into the test battle. Alright guys, for this test battle, we're going to be using Stock Guilty versus Stock Vanish Fafnir. Let's check out who's the last clip. These launches were just on right spin, but as you can tell from the L on the top there on left spin, we're going to be trying Guilty in two different settings. First, this huge Decagon Stadium, and secondly, we're going to try him in my small Pro Series Stadium. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Oh, nice hit from Guilty. Fafnir's just staying on the outside, trying to get a stamina one, though. Can Guilty get hits in to stop him? And Guilty is a left spin, and has also been known as the Fafnir Killer, so... Let's see if that whole Fafnir killer thing is true. Next round, I'm going to do a much harder launch. This round was a pretty weak launch. All right, the first round is going to go to Vanish. Let's move on to rounds already. Now let's do this. Three, two, one, two. Oh, Guilty's actually moving pretty fast in this huge stadium. That's pretty fast for a stadium this big. Can he? Guilty's still just circling Fafnir. That is a big waste of stamina. Okay. Nice hits from Guilty, but can he take down Vanish? Uh, and it's looking like a... No, Fafnir wins with the stamina finish again. Let's move over to a smaller stadium. Also, guys, I would like to say I did change my mind. We're going to be trying them in three different stadiums because I want to use this stadium too. This is um, a Speedstorm Stadium, and um, this was the stadium featured in um, Beyblade Burst Surge or Beyblade Burst Sparking, whichever one you want to call it. Um... This stadium was featured in that anime, but let's move on to this next battle. Three, two, one, go. I feel like this stadium does favor attack types a lot more. Because of the divots that force you to fight, except for when stamina types do this. This does not, um, this does not help them at all. I'm just gonna like, I'm sorry if you guys say this is cheating, but like, no one wants to watch Vanish sit in a pocket, okay? All right, now, Fourth battle, let's go. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Wow. Those are some crazy hits. Fafnir's running out of stamina, and that is 2-0 for Fafnir in the Decagon Stadium, and 2-0 for um, Guilty Longness in the Beyblade Burst Surge Stadium. Now let's move on to the final stadium. The final stadium we're going to be using is the stadium I started this channel off with, this Pro Series Stadium that I got with... um. The Pro Series Wizard Fafnir and um, Sword Valtriac. Or um, if you buy the, if you only buy Takara Tome Invades, you probably know Sword Valtriac is Slash Valkyrie. But now let's go on to this final battle. Guys, like I said in the last clip, this, these are the final battles of the series. 3 to 1 go. Oh, Guilty is just hammering Fafnir. And because Guilty is so low, on a lot of bays, the upper attacks are just crazy. That is one point for Guilty. I would like to mention, these launchers honestly feel amazing. Like, the string is just so smooth. But now, let's do this last battle. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. Guilty is circling, but making small impacts with Fafnir. Will he still have enough stamina to win, them? Oh. Guilty is hammering Fafnir. And that's actually one to one, so we're gonna go on to a third match. Both bays are ready. Three, two, one, go. I think Guilty's going to waste the stamina. Like, again, this. I'm not sure. Oh, no, he's making hits on Fafnir. After wasting that much stamina, though, will it be enough to win? Fafnir is actually the winner, so Longness has been known as the Fafnir killer for a while, but it looks like Fafnir is beating him. So that was surprising. I really, I really, really thought Guilty was going to win this. I'm honestly surprised to see him lose. Let's just do one more match. As you can see from the side Guilty's on, though, I've been using um, Fafnir on one side and Guilty on the other side. I swapped them around. I don't think that's really going to do anything, but... Yeah, they've been on they've been on the opposite side. So now let's do this battle. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Fafnir just wow. Fafnir got an off rip KO. Oh, guilty was just spin stealing, but yeah, Vanish has got an off rip KO which made Longness lose just about all of his spin. Let's check the clicks. Longness actually lost no clicks. Vanish? 
None. Okay, well, that was the final battle. As you guys can see, um, my Vanish Fafnir is still undefeated. My Fafnir has actually not lost a match yet. So, my Vanish is still undefeated. Longlist couldn't do it. What other DBB should I pick up to see who can beat Fafnir? Not even DB. It doesn't have to be a DBB. Based from any gen you guys want to see. Tell me which ones I should pick up to see if they can beat Fafnir. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. And um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you liked it. Leave a like if you liked it. And um, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. See you later, bladers.